Altadena, California is home to nearly 46,000 residents. The population consists of 39.9% Caucasian, 27.2% Hispanic or Latino, 21.7% Black or African American, and 6.52% Asian, making Altadena one of the most diverse cities in Los Angeles County. With local markets and gift shops, Altadena has a more town feel rather than a city feel. Amongst the shops that Altadena has to offer its residents and those nearby is an African clothing store and gift shop. Located at the top of Lake Avenue is Rhythms of the Village. This shop's mission is to bring a modern twist on Africa's fashion along with incorporating traditions, art, and culture. Yes, my name is Emeka Chakura and I run a cultural center. It's more than just a retail shop. We here bringing um, culture to the community, letting them know what it's all about. The business is called Rhythms of the Village. It's a family business and we've been here about six years now. The community is very supportive of the culture that we bring. I am the, the designer. I also help market the business and I've been in the business since I was a child. My parents were our educators and they, we've always been hands-on, crafty people. And since young, I've always been making different products and um, that's grown into my passion for fashion. And, and uh, that's what I bring to the village, uh, a modern twist on African fashion. Majority of my clientele, I must be honest and say that it is a mixed clientele because Altadena has a large um, affluent black and white community. And I love that about Altadena, the fact that I can supply both white and black people with uh, an idea of what culture is and who we are and what we represent. I throw a lot of multicultural events, so I, I am inclusive. Even though I'm selling African culture, I am inclusive. I want everybody to become aware of our roots, of where we come from. And it, it's, it's been beneficial for me in this area. Uh, initially to start, you know, it takes everything you have. It takes all your capital, it takes all your dedication and uh, consistency, having to persevere uh, through the slow months and uh, having to think outside the box on how to get people coming back. And that's why we're not just about the products, we're about teaching drumming, teaching arts and crafts, having events that bring people together of all culture. Fresh Fruit Saturday, things to engage the community, to get them to know what it means to be a collective community and what community really is. I use Instagram, I use social media, and uh, one of the most powerful tools still to this day is word of mouth. A lot of people go and tell somebody about the village, and that's always been um, very powerful for us. Cleanliness, keep your business clean. You know, a lot of times the stereotype is that we're not organized and we're not together, so do your best to present yourself in a well-organized fashion and, and keep it consistent, don't give up. Include your family the best you can. Try to engage your family members, get them on board. If not, find a team you know that can that can be there to support you and help you along the way.